Hello YouTube viewers, this is Dijin Jays from the Device Manager. In this video, we're gonna fix Boot MGR is missing Windows 10. Boot MGR is missing press Ctrl Alt Delete to restart. It's one of the most common boot error which occurs because the Windows boot sector is damaged or missing. Another reason you might encounter boot MGR error is uh, if your PC is trying to boot from a drive that is not properly configured to be booted from, then you might see this message. And in this video, I'll take you through oh, all the reasons for this particular error and we gonna fix those errors one by one. Actually this problem arises due to several issues like hardware problems, BIOS problems, Windows operating system issues, BCD issues, whatever the issue may be we gonna fix this through this video. So watch the video fully, try all the methods and I'm sure that at the end of the video you'll get your problem fixed. Without wasting any time, let's move on to the first method. Method 1 run automatic or startup repair run automatic or startup repair firstly you insert the windows 10 bootable cd and restart your pc then there you select your preferred language and after that you select repair your computer and there you will see in the choose an option you select troubleshoot in the troubleshoot screen you select advanced options in the advanced options you select automatic repair wait till the windows automatic startup repair to complete and after the completion you restart your pc and see whether the problem is fixed or not if not don't worry let's go to method 2 method 2 repair your boot sector or rebuild bcd like I mentioned in the first method, you again uh, insert your CD, boot your CD, then you select your language and repair your computer, you select that, choose an option troubleshoot, in troubleshoot you select advanced options, in advanced option you select command prompt. Okay, in command prompt you need to type three commands, first one is boot rec slash rebuild r e b u i l d b c d boot rec slash r e b u i l d b c d hit enter it will scan all disks for windows installations and after that that uh, you will see a message like the operation has been completed successfully then you type boot rec slash fix mbr the next command you should type is boot rec slash fix mbr then hit enter after some time again you will receive a message like the operation completed successfully after that you type the last command boot rec slash fix boot boot rec slash fix boot after typing these three commands you will receive the message like the operation is completed successfully close the command prompt reinstall your pc and see whether your problem is fixed or not if not fixed don't worry let's go to the method 3 method 3 repair windows image as i mentioned in the first method you need to go to the command prompt and enter the following command after selecting command prompt you type dism forward slash online slash cleanup hyphen image again forward slash restore health after typing this command hit enter you may see some message showing like the restore operation completed successfully the component store corruption was repaired the operation completed successfully after the message is shown close the command prompt restart your pc and see whether your problem is solved or not and uh, this command prompt uh, it takes around 15 to 20 minutes to complete this particular command so you need to wait a while in case if this command is not working then you type another command 
which I have already given in the description as well as in the video also. If you find it very difficult to follow in the video, I have given it in the description. You can just go and have a check. The command is dism slash image image colon c colon slash offline slash clean image slash restore health slash source colon c colon slash test slash mount slash windows okay if this is not working then i have one more command there is a slight change in it towards the end instead of so c test mount windows and after that you need to give a slash and limit access that's the only change in the second command you try this command only if the first command that I already mentioned in this method didn't work. Okay, if that didn't work, you try these two commands and check whether your problem is solved after restarting your PC. Method 4. Change boot sequence or boot order in BIOS. Change boot sequence or boot order in BIOS. For that, uh, restart your Windows 10. As the computer starts to power on, press Dell or F2 key to enter BIOS setup. Uh, press Dell or F2 key to enter the BIOS setup. In the BIOS setup, you navigate to the boot order options in BIOS. Um, there you can see boot settings. And there, boot device priority. In boot device pri priority, you set the boot order to hardware, hard drive, then CD or DVD. The boot order should be hard drive, then CD or DVD. Save the configuration, exit, restart the computer and see whether your problem is fixed or not. If not fixed, let's move on to the fifth method. Method 5, use this part to fix a corrupted file system. This method will fix any errors with the uh, file system, such as uh, any corruption is there. Then we can use the particular method to fix the issue. For that, um, you need to go to command prompt, open it as administrator, that's very important. And in command prompt, you type disk part, D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T, disk part, hit enter. Then you can see a lot of messages like this. Then you type select partition 1, it will select the partition 1. Then you type active, A-C-T-I-V-E, and you can see a message like, Disk, uh, disk part marked the current partition as active then exit okay after doing these commands close everything restart your pc and i'm sure that this will definitely fix your problem you're never gonna see this moot mgr error in a system anymore if you have any more queries regarding this please feel free to ask through your comment section please leave a thumbs up if this video helped you I'll be uploading more and more videos regarding Windows issues, Windows 10 network issues and so on and so on in the coming days. So please stay tuned with my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Please share my video. This is Dijin JS signing off.